Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. Classes were suspended at the Homewood Technical High School after a counseling session today. As students and teachers continue to grieve following Wednesday's motor vehicle crash in which four students were killed. The police have reported that in just over two years, the two minibus drivers involved in the crash received more than 100 traffic tickets. A Jamaican is among four men arrested in Brooklyn, New York for their alleged involvement in the lottery scam. U.S. authorities say Horace Model of Montego Bay was part of the scheme that targeted elderly U.S. citizens. Robert Rainford, the permanent secretary in the local government ministry, has been dismissed. The Public Service Commission had been investigating Mr. Rainford since March, following revelations that while he was at the Justice Ministry, he posted bail for former cash boss boss, Carlos Hill. The Jamaican dollar continues to depreciate, reaching a record $103.34 to one U.S. dollar. Meanwhile, it's costing a record $100.98 to buy one Canadian dollar. In sports, Qatar 2022 World Cup organizers say they are appalled by the findings of a probe into the treatment of migrant workers in the country. Tournament organizers say the Qatari government will study the allegations, while FIFA says it's very concerned. In your weather forecast, Friday morning will be mainly sunny. In the afternoon, there will be widely scattered showers and thunderstorms. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.